The year 2021 was a watershed moment in longevity research and the developing area of biotechnology. Billionaires like Jeff Bezos and Vitalik are pouring billions of dollars into innovative longevity enterprises, and whole governments like Japan are spending heavily on the development of age-reversing vaccines in the hopes of halting the aging population. But this is just the beginning of what we'll see in 2022, and more crucially, in the next decade. What are the most significant and promising advancements in longevity research that we've accomplished in 2021, and what improvements may we anticipate in the years ahead? Well, let's find out. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Gene Editing CRISPR generated variants at a fast pace, resulting in a large toolset full of potent gene editors that are far more efficient, trustworthy, and safe than their predecessors. CRISPR employs epigenetic mechanisms to turn genes on and off in a reversible manner without snipping or changing the gene itself. Prime editing, which snips rather than chops DNA, has been updated to edit up to 10,000 DNA letters in a variety of cells with pinpoint accuracy. It's possible to rewrite entire genes via twin prime editing. These improved CRISPR technologies now allow researchers to correct genetic defects that were previously untreatable. Despite this, we have only scratched the surface of gene editing. Scientists identified a wide universe of other CRISPR-like systems to examine further when they delved at the CRISPR family tree. Artificial intelligence is now contributing to the development of new CRISPR proteins and their kill switch. Other ideas for when CRISPR entirely in favor of a more complex bacterial system that could alter millions of DNA sequences without breaking a single DNA strand. The gene editing toolkit will undoubtedly continue to expand. In other news, quantum mechanics and neurology have teamed up to speed up AI. In a perfect circle, Google is now designing its own hardware processors for AI. Depression is something the majority of us suffer from, and AI-powered brain implants are being developed to combat this. With work currently being done to fix chronic ailment using electrical impulses generated by the brain, one can convert them into texts, which will improve our daily lives by huge magnitude. A heated debate over potential Alzheimer's therapies sparked a new wave of appealing ideas for dealing with and taming our long-standing mind-eating disease in the medical community. The Anti-Aging Vaccinations We recognize that everyone is tired of hearing about vaccines considering the current situation, but their incredible ability to battle a completely unique infectious virus is nothing short of astounding. It also revealed the power of decades-old technology that has been inactive in labs with a platform that's far faster and more versatile than any previous vaccine technique since it no longer relies on physical target proteins from viruses, but rather on their genetic code. A GlaxoSmith climb team believes that the digital vaccine era has arrived. According to proponents, mRNA vaccines have the potential to revolutionize present treatments for a wide range of diseases and the area is rapidly expanding. Moderna, for example, initiated a human trial for an HIV vaccine in August to assess its safety, aiming to combat a virus that has eluded standard vaccination tactics for four decades. The company recently released results on an HIV vaccine candidate that lowered the risk of infection in monkeys by around 80%, with all participants developing antibodies against the 12 HIV strains tested. All this was done in conjunction with the National Institutes of Health. In complete honesty, it isn't a simple task to undertake due to its insane complexity. HIV targeting ENV is not at all easy and has to be covered in sugar armor to keep the vaccination target areas hidden. The mRNA vaccine gives hope for a new lease in life. mRNA vaccines can be utilized to treat autoimmune and neurodegenerative diseases in addition to viruses and that's a mighty bonus. BioNTech, a Pfizer vaccine development partner, is currently using this method to battle multiple sclerosis. Nerve fiber insulation is gradually removed by the immune system, resulting in slow and irreversible damage. The technique is adaptable, quick and cost-effective, and it can be adapted to each patient. mRNA vaccines that target cancer or antibiotic resistance are also in the works, according to preliminary results in mice. Although it remains to be seen whether the technology will be able to treat some of our most challenging conditions, the field is on the rise. Gene Therapy for Life Expectancy CRISPR has long been hailed as a tool with the potential to transform gene therapy. Researchers previously used gene editing technology to augment immune T cells, transforming them into super warriors capable of battling blood cancers with CAR-T treatment. Anemia and other symptoms in patients with blood disorders were also effectively treated using the instrument. The drawback was that cells had to be gene edited outside of the body before being reintroduced into circulation. CRISPR was enhanced this year with the goal of directly editing genes within the body potentially treating hundreds of diseases caused by erroneous genetic coding. University College London researchers made a breakthrough discovery by altering a defective gene in the liver that causes heart and nerve damage. 
Unlike previous attempts, the CRISPR apparatus was injected into the circulation in a single infusion to turn off the gene, resulting in a dramatic reduction in mutant protein production in six people. Another study focused its work on a defective gene that leads to blindness. By injecting the therapy directly into the retina, volunteers were able to increase the light perception. Furthermore, they're both outliers. Lipid nanoparticles, which are little fatty spaceships that have a propensity for the liver and have more transient gene editing effects, were used to administer CRISPR in the liver investigation. Furthermore, unlike the retina, the majority of our body's tissues are difficult to reach with a simple injection. The experiments, however, serve as proofs of concept, ushering CRISPR into a vast world of gene editing possibilities within the body. With breakthroughs in delivery, CRISPR and its various enhancements are ready to cure the untreatable. DeepMind and the University of Washington have created an artificial intelligence that can deduce a protein structure only from its genetic code. It's a once-in-a-generation breakthrough, a year's breakthrough and technology that'll forever change structural biology. Protein complexes, or how one protein unit interacts with another, as well as their function, may now be predicted thanks to updates to the original AI. The structure of RNA, the messenger that connects DNA to proteins, is also being deciphered by AI. From synthetic biology to medical development, the impact will be seen all across the board. It's been a long time coming, yet there's no excitement around AI-designed medicines. Isomorphic Labs was formed this year by Alphabet, Google's parent company, to tackle a new field of medical research utilizing AI. The first I-discovered medicine is currently in clinical trials as a safety test for a long ailment that permanently inhibits organ function, using powerful algorithms that make it easier to filter prescription options from a pool of millions of chemicals. It's a major step forward, and the experiment could pave the way for the first artificially discovered and human-tested drug to treat diseases. How does aging works? The first few hours and days of the development of a human embryo are a puzzle that must be solved. Early pregnancy knowledge is essential for avoiding birth defects and pregnancy loss, as well as for improving assisted reproductive technology. So what exactly is the problem? Early embryos are difficult to come by, and they raise significant ethical and legal concerns. Several studies converted skin cells into blastocysts, a biological structure that resembles the very early stages of a human embryo to avoid these problems. Instead of utilizing sperm and eggs, the researchers used embryonic stem cells and skin cells to build the first entire model of a human embryo. There were no reproductive cells required for this experiment. The cells formed blastocysts in a nutrient-rich liquid, which featured cell types that would eventually lead to all lineages needed to make human beings. Thinking quite on the contrary, what could be the worst-case scenario? Consider the development of a little brain within a skin cell embryo. Although technically impossible for the time being, the ethical quandary has alarmed the International Society for Stem Cell Research, which oversees human stem cell and embryo research. Surprisingly, this year, they changed the 14-day rule for developing embryos, allowing embryo research to last longer than two weeks. Future studies could reveal what happens to a human embryo after it's deposited in the uterus, as well as gastrulation, the process by which genetic impulses lay down the body's overall patterning and set the stage for organ development if the limitations are looser. It's a divisive decision, but it offers a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to modernize IVF and study the early stages of human development for the first time. It'll almost certainly raise ethical questions as well, which may stand as an obstacle. But what if the embryos, whether natural or artificial, begin to produce neurons or heart cells that beat? One thing is undeniable. Artificial blastocysts are becoming more and more similar to their biological counterparts. With immense power comes enormous responsibility. The future of longevity is bright, with an increasing number of scientists anticipating that we will soon achieve the legendary longevity escape velocity. So, what are your thoughts on these anti-aging methods? Do you believe they have any merit? Bless the section below with your thoughts. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and we can't wait to have you back. If you drop this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and push the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our channel. See you soon!